Okay everyone, so in this video we're gonna use T-Rex and Windows 10 to get about 44-45 MHz per second when mining Ethereum using Etash, alright? And the memory type I'm using is Samsung. If you have Hynix, you can expect about 40 MHz per second, but you need to lower the memory clock and things like that, otherwise your rig will crash. Also disclaimer, you overclock your GPU at your own risk, just yes, so you know. This video is for demonstration only, where I show my settings, how I get 44-45 MHz per second when mining Ethereum. Okay, so let's go and overclock my 3060 Ti LHR card. Okay everyone, so now we're gonna go and set up everything. We're gonna start with T-Rex Miner. I'm just gonna open up a browser. We're gonna go to google.com. We're gonna search for T-Rex GitHub. Hit enter. Go to this one, releases. Click on this. We're gonna go to the latest uh, version. Click on this one, 0 0.24.5. And just go and click on this one, win.zip. This will download the zip file to your desktop. We're gonna go and open this up in the folder. And we need to have a zip unpacker. So we're gonna right click. We're gonna go to 7-zip. If you don't have 7-zip, just uh, Google it and download it. After that, just go and click on extract to T-Rex. Okay, we're gonna take this uh, folder and drag it to the desktop, like so. We're gonna open it up, and we're gonna go to this one, ETH, Ethermine. So in my case I'm using Ethermine uh, pool, but you can use any other of your choice. We're gonna right click on it, we're gonna click on edit. And now we're gonna add our wallet address right here. All right, so just uh, delete this one and paste your own Ethereum wallet address, like so. If you don't have a wallet address for Ethereum, I'm using Binance, you find the link in the description where you can go and sign up for Binance and create your own Ethereum wallet address. A disclaimer, this one is an affiliate link, that means I will get a small commission if you sign up through my link. And as a thank you, I give you 5% kickback commission. Alright, so we're gonna name this rig to whatever you like. I'm gonna delete rig 0. I'm gonna name this to Sun. Like so. And also, depending on where you are in the world, you need to change the server location. Okay? So we're gonna go to the browser. We're gonna go to your pool, in my case it's uh, ethermine.org We're gonna click on start mining and here we see the server addresses. So in my case I'm in Europe, we're gonna use this one. If you are in Asia, you're gonna use this one or this one. If you are in US East, you're gonna use this one or US West, this one. Okay. So just uh, take your own address and paste it in the bat file, right here. And the number we're gonna use is 4444. And if it doesn't work well for you, you can try this one instead, okay? So all we need to do now is just go and exit this one and save it, like so. And we're gonna go to MSI Afterburner. If you don't have MSI Afterburner, you can just uh, Google MSI Afterburner, click on this one, and just download it, okay? After that we are just going to go and open up uh, MSI Afterburner, like so. And if you want to change the settings, uh, you can go to Settings, we can go to User Interface, you can go to user interface skinning properties. You can use this one if you like. MSI Mystic uh, Afterburner skin by Drerex design. And I'm gonna make this a little bigger, like so. Let's click on apply. And after that, just click on OK. Okay, so we're gonna start up the miner. We're gonna add overclocking settings for my RTX 3060 Ti LHR card. All right. 
so we are just gonna go to my discord server and I have some preset uh, values that we can use right here if you'd like to join this uh, discord server you find the link in the description we are all about mining we help each other with mining problems and things like that so you have the specific overclock LHR card right here and go to 3060 Ti LHR right just go and click up here you will have this window so we're gonna go to T-Rex and Windows and we're gonna add core clock minus 500 we're gonna add memory clock 1500 fan speed zero or your own fixed amount depending on the GPU's uh, temperature and we want to have this below 65 Celsius after that we have power limit 65% okay so let's go to MSI afterburner alright so here we have MSI afterburner click on this uh, arrow to choose the right uh, GPU for you and just click on it one more time and you will see NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti so in my case I have a Samsung memory which will give me about 44-45 MHz per second and if you have like Hynix memory you can get up to 14 MHz per second and you need to add memory clock maybe from uh, 500 start from there all right and after that if everything is all right you can increase by 40 or 50 okay but in my case I have Samsung I'm gonna add minus 502 and we're gonna add 1500 and power limit at 65 like so I'm gonna add fan speed I'm gonna uncheck this one and add fan speed at uh, 70 like so so if you are on Hynix start with like 500 and see if that is stable and after that just increase if you are on Samsung you can do like 1500 okay after that let's go and click on the check mark like so and we're gonna go and start up the miner just click on the file we just uh, changed just double click on it to start the miner and we can also see that T-Rex detects this LHR card because we have intensity at 21.3 we also see target hash rate for unlocker 37 all right this will increase so I'm gonna let this run for 5-10 minutes and we're gonna check the results okay so now I have run the rig for 1 hour and 54 minutes and the result is uh, about 44 to 45 megahertz per second with my gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti LHR so this is a great way to unlock your LHR card using T-Rex on Windows and also don't forget to go down in the description join our discord server we love to have you on board okay everyone so have an awesome day take care and bye